Tell the fans, because I felt it as a broadcaster, how tough it was getting in late as we did. How, how tough was it to find that resolve and, and reserve? Uh, this is a, it's a big win for us. You know, after everything that we went through last night, being delayed for five hours, stuck in Indiana after a tough game, you know, and uh, you know, basically not getting to our homes until 4.30 in the morning. And, you know, your whole day is kind of just screwed up. You know, your, your whole routine and your regiment is kind of screwed up. And, um, but for us to come out here and, and be professionals, you still got to be professionals. Nobody's going to feel sorry for you. So for us to show up uh, and have our all-star power forward out, um, have so many guys out, you know, everyone you know, just – just gave what they had and was able to be very uh, have a lot of resolve tonight once again to get that win. You guys almost pitched a shutout the final 414. What was the difference? We were just flying around, cover for one another, man. And, uh, you know, JJ caught fire for a minute and we knew that, you know, they was going to try to continue to go back to him. Covington hit a couple big ones as well. Um, so we just tried to get back and load on Ben and then just try to keep bodies and on bodies, you know, with JJ and with, with, uh, with Covington. So, um, you know, we was able to get some stops, we was able to get some rebounds, and then we was able to execute a little bit offensively. Hey LeBron, I don't know if you can see me back here. Um, on a night when you weren't shooting the ball excellently, um, I think you still scored or assisted on the last 22 points. Um, how, how do you find a way to do that? I have no idea. I just go out and play my game. And, um, yeah, like you said, I mean, I started the game 3 for 11. Um, was missing some chippies, a couple of shots went in and out, you know, some floaters in the lane. Um, but that's, that's just a byproduct of who I am. I don't need to score to be productive and to help win the game, you know. So, you know, I just stayed with it, and I was able to get to the free throw line tonight. I was able to get some rebounds. My teammates uh, made some huge shots for me, and, um, you know, that's a, that's a crazy stat, though. I didn't, I didn't know that, that's for sure. Eight, seven, and seven in the final quarter. Uh, just trying to be productive. Just trying to be productive and do whatever it takes to help us win. You know, and I don't think any of us was feeling great tonight. You know, after the long stretch we had last night. But um, if I'm on the floor, I got to be productive and I got to try to help this team win. And that's just my job. I think of the safety net is kind of a stretch like that where you guys can tell your legs and see happens to be in the corner. Ah, uh, well, listen, a guy that shoots the stream. Is, uh, well, like he does. I mean, we had two of them on the court at the same time, him and JJ, you know, at one stretch. And, uh, you know, for us to have Kyle, man, it's just, uh, like you said, it's a great safety net. You know, anytime they just try to take a body off him, if they lose him just a little bit, you know, our guys did a great job of setting two back screens, getting him a little separation. He knew Amir was going to fly at him out of control. He was able to duck that and still can the three. So uh, it's a big time shot. After the uh, slow start, how big was the bench? Tell tale of our season so far, our bench. Our bench has been phenomenal. We had a rough rough one last night, but that's okay. Um, you know, they picked it back up right where they've been doing, you know, over this stretch that we've been playing great ball. So, you know, Jeff and D Wade and Kyle and Channing and Jetty, you know, those guys were, you know, excellent once again. How happy were you to see Jay hit that shot and what could it mean moving forward for him? I mean, that's big time. That's big time. You know, D-Wade and Jeff both sacrificed on my post up by double cutting and, you know, taking some Sixers defenders with them. And, you know, me being able to have the vision and the size, um, I just trusted that Jay was going to knock it down and he, trust, he trusted the work he's been putting in, you know. And uh, I think that's a big time moment for him, you know. One of his, that's probably one of the, that's the, one of the big time moments so far in the season for him individually for our ball club. And, you know, that could definitely um, be something that could carry on. Being this young and having so many facets of your game grown, where do you think it can go for him? Um, I think he can be as great as he want to be. He has all the tools. So it's up to him how great he wants to be. Question, kind of tell the fans how tough it was to come off that back-to-back -back tough one three and a half hours late and then have to play this team. Yeah, I don't, I'm sure the fans don't want to hear us complaining. I know, but still. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it was tough. It was a challenge. You know, it definitely added an extra challenge, you know, with our playing getting delayed and getting in at 430. But, um, you know, you just got to be ready to play. And coming in and playing a young, a young group that's pushing the ball up and down the floor, uh, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. But, you know, this was pure just, you know, will and hard tonight to get this win. And defensively, you didn't allow field goal over the last uh, four minutes plus. What, what turned that part around? Uh, sense of urgency, you know, it's winning time. And, um, 
You know, they had, before that, they went on a streak where they was knocking down shots. Covington, JJ, uh, them guys is knocking down shots. So we just had to do a little bit more, get to their shooters a little bit closer, and um, just have some urgency. If last night, how redeeming or fulfilling was it for the bench to kind of pick back up? Yeah, you know, we, we, you know, we try to be a positive force for this team every night. As much as we want to, you know, we know some nights it's not going to be that way. But um, at the last night, you know, I felt tonight we came in and just we played. I thought last night was a little bit too robotic, you know, in the way we ran offense and the way we played tonight. I just thought we just flowed and played. And um, it's, it was good to have the bench my back to doing what, you know, we normally do for this team. As someone whose game is primarily middle in and under the rim, how big of a safety net is it to have a guy like Kyle on the outside when man, things collapse? It's huge, man. It's huge. Um, you know, he makes our team you know, special, you know, with what he's able to do, um, the way he's able to move off the ball. He never stops moving. And even when he's not making shots, he's still a threat. Uh, with the defense, always got to have an eye on him. So it allows other guys to be able to, you know, have moments where they can sneak attack or have a little bit more space on the floor, um, et cetera. So, uh, you know, I know LeBron is, you know, the guy and get the headlines. But uh, to me, Kyle is, you know, you know is important um, to our success uh, for sure. How much fun are those cuts off the ball that either you or LeRod get where you just seemingly inherently know where the other one is? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've uh, been playing with that guy over there for a long time, all our years, you know, NBA, Olympics, All-Star, whatever. Um, so I know what he's thinking. Um, it's just about, you know, trying to make sure the flow is, you know, um, spread enough to where I can, you know, have those cut at that time. So um, it works both ways. It's good, you know, and um, you know, I told him when I missed the left-hand layup, I was going to make it up, and I was able to, you know, make the floater in the lane after that. So, um, um, you know, it's definitely good to have that, you know, kind of chemistry, um, especially late in games. You know, when they when they worried about Cal, um, and you can just sneak along the baseline and you know and be a safety valve in sense for the team is great. What's the biggest adaptation from your point of view, um, from leading the second unit to complementing the, um, the starting lineup? Um, well, we just, you know, we we have a very we got talented guys on the second unit and. Um, you know, I, like I said, we take a lot of pride in um, making sure that every night we become we be a positive for this team. And as much as we want it to be every night, it won't happen every night. But more times than not, you know, we want it to happen. And you know, we just want to play better with more energy, uh, more pace than we did last night um, in Indiana. And I thought we did that, and we was able to get some things going for individual guys in that group. And then when we play with LeBron or when Kevin's in the lineup, et cetera, you know, our role is a little different um, in a sense. But we still have to. You know, um, play our roles, and I thought we did that tonight. Between the greatest, the greatest the, uh, winning streak was, is it equally important to avoid even small losing streaks? Definitely, definitely. This has been a tough one. You know, you, you go on a 13 game, then you lose two in a row, and we could have had an excuse. We could have made an excuse, uh, but you know, no one wants to hear that in this league, um, and definitely not in this locker room. If your goal is to become a champion one day, you can't allow excuses to be, um, you know. You know at the top of the list. So I was glad that we was able to come in today. Um, it wasn't a lot of words being said. Guys didn't talk a lot. Everyone was focused on, you know, just trying to muster up whatever they had, um, you know, to give it to this game. And I thought we did that. Dwayne, I saw that, um, looked up that last year you had 41 blocks all of last season. And then this season, if I'm correct with your one tonight, you have 22 through 25 games. What, like, where has the kind of the blocking kind of come into it? It's been such a big part of your game this season? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, some right place, right time. Some I'm, I'm thinking about it more. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm making more of an effort, um, you know, to, to get them. I think the last couple of years I just I didn't make as much of an effort to get the blocks as, in a sense. Um, but, you know, just right place, right time, and, you know, just trying to help this team where I can in any way. You know, other years when, um, you know, when your role is to score the basketball a lot, sometimes, you know, you let other guys do certain things like grab rebounds or get the blocks and, you know, you try to get the outlet. But, you know, now, you know, it's a little different role. So, you know, just trying to be a positive whenever I'm on the floor. Some nights offense is going to be great. Some nights it's not. Some nights it's going to be pass. Some nights it's going to be defense. So whatever it is, you know, you want to be able to, um, you want the coach to be able to play you at the end of the game because you know you're going to bring something positive to the team and that's what I'm trying to do. All right. Thanks, oh, go ahead, Chris. Jay said that he felt relief. Who said it? Jay said he felt relief after making that big three at the end of the game. What was it like to see him, who has been struggling so far this year, make that kind of shot? And what can it mean for him? Well, it was great. Um, you know, he, he, he shot it. He didn't think about it. You know, um, the double team came with Brian. We had, you know, myself and Jeff slashed. And, 
he stepped up and knocked it down. And you see the look on his face <laughs> um, of the relief. But, you know, we, we, we believe in that guy, man. We want him to continue to keep shooting it. Um, no matter, like I always tell him, no matter how many shots you miss, just think you're going to hit the next one. Um, you know, we see him work on this game all the time. And it's the game of basketball. You know, it's 50-50 it's every time it go up. But that was a big shot. We needed that. Um, sealed the game, and um, you know it couldn't happen to it happened to the right guy on his team. You know the one who really needed a shot to go in. So um, you know we can't say it's going to propel him for the next game, but we want to know that we got confidence in him. You know to continue to knock those down.